bisector of an angle of a triangle. In this video, we will learn about a very important theorem on internal bisector of an angle of a triangle. Before we jump onto the theorem, let us understand the meaning of an internal bisector of an angle of a triangle. As we know, there are three angles in a triangle. These three angles are known as the internal angles of a triangle because these angles are inside the triangle. An internal bisector of an angle of a triangle is a ray that bisects one of the three internal angles of a triangle. For instance, in triangle ABC, ray AD is the internal bisector of angle A. Now, let's come to the theorem. According to the theorem, the internal bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side internally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle. This means that if AD is the internal bisector of angle A of triangle ABC, then BD upon DC is equal to AB upon AC. That is, AD divides side BC in a ratio that is equal to ratio of these two sides. This is known as theorem of internal bisector angle of a triangle. The converse of the theorem is just opposite of it. According to the converse, if a line through one vertex of a triangle divides the opposite sides in the ratio of other two sides, then the line bisects the angle at the vertex. This means that if AD is a line in triangle ABC such that BD upon DC is equal to AB upon AC, then AD is the internal bisector of angle A of triangle ABC. That is, if AD bisects side BC in a ratio that is equal to the ratio of these two sides, then AD is the internal bisector of angle A of the triangle. This is known as converse of the theorem of internal bisector angle of a triangle. 